<laughs> so we're going to start the show. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> hi, I'm Baxter. Oh, was that was that yep. it? We're starting. You dug okay. the grave. Oh! Are you gonna put that oh. noise in there? No, that's just the beginning. Yeah, get away from that. Don't fight that. Um, I already had a different intro worked out. <laughs> it's too late. It. Oh well, I'll, I'll use it. I'll use it next time. You can't. You can't yes. stop me, man. Let me sign up. I put, put my name on the uh, on the register, so I'll get to do the intro next Indeed. time. Better sign up quick. Slots are going fast. My downstairs neighbor with the barking dog already got the next three. She wants to talk about how she doesn't. Oh God! Dog, look at that man. frog. That frog is—is is that a frog? I don't know what that is, but it's freaking out. Are you sure it's an enemy? It has advanced upon us. Yeah, okay, it's an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kermit! It's an armored frog. <laughs> it's Sir Kermit. <laughs> it's Frog from Chrono Trigger. Now, you had to go and make a Chrono Trigger reference. Now, that's, now that's I'm sad that we're not mind. playing a good game. I know, right? You can't think like that. Earthbound. Earthbound was is the only video game ever to be yes. published. Oh god. We're gonna have to use some kind of secret business on this guy. We're gonna have to get rid of that ghost at oh, some god. point. Lars is out of PP too. Uh You can beat the frog. Uh, you still have a hundred. Rob Z still has a hundred and twenty-six. Yeah, You're fine. No, tiny little ghost. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How much damage does the ghost do each it, time? It, it is really it ineffective, but it, it'll um, whenever it touches one of our characters, uh, they they lose that turn, which is really annoying. Oh. Burn him. Burn that ass. There we go. Now I'm feeling alright. Ding. I don't know, so the impasse we were facing last time is whether we want to turn back. And... Oh, that's right. Uh... Hmm. The way I figure it, I mean, worst case well, scenario is... The, sol the solution we're facing right now is having to go back through all that garbage again. But that's just what's going to happen if we fail anyway. So we might as well get as far as we can and make as much progress as possible. I mean, but you're just showing your, like, defeatist attitude here. We've got... <laughs> we might very well get through yeah, that's the what I'm next saying. I'm saying, like, part. worst case scenario. Oh, God. Like, if we go back now, we are committing ourselves to the worst yeah. case scenario. Also, Naomi just died. Okay, maybe we should go. Oh god! <laughs> I think everybody's about to die. But, uh, I mean, you don't lose anything right. if you die, right? So, we might as well die to get back. That'll just take us back. Yeah. Get him, Rob Z! Yeah! Use your <laughs> Phoenix down. Holy crap! Let's get plenty of XP out of it, out of the deal. Oh, check out these ghosts. Okay, don't fight anything else. Just just run past everything. Get as far as possible. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, it's a really... Don't fight that bug. It's a bug big enough to have discernible legs, and also a discernible front and back. <laughs> I, we're using discernible in, in a, a rather <laughs> loose sense of the term. It is a rectangle with two smaller rectangles It's a bug big enough to have a shadow. Which is something we haven't seen before. Uh, again, it is four <laughs> rectangles. Oh, crap. Uh, no! Okay, go back. What? He touched Naomi's what? ghost. Oh, it touched... Why are you Oh, uh, because two of our characters are dead. 
No, uh, just, just so everybody's red even when both so. are dead? Ouch. Look at me. Ryman Simon. Unacceptable. My name's not Simon. I know that, that crocodile is going to kill us if we attack it. So I think I want to go fight that weird bug. I, oh, ah, maybe I'll just go back. There's no time for that! No! He brought a weird frog with him. Oh, God. Okay, here's yeah. where you're gonna die. I, I don't think you're gonna make this. Uh... Hit him with the slime generator. Great. Kinda cold. The armored frog's body solidified. That's why armored frog is going to kill us. I like this, uh... Like little pictographic language that they they use for status <laughs> effects. It's really abstracted. Like I know that that's a nose with snot dripping out, but if you just look at it, you know, objectively, yeah. it doesn't look like anything. Indeed. I like that. Like having a severe post nasal drip is like a like a thing that affects your battle performance in this game. You haven't been poisoned, you just have a cold. Alright. Let's do this! <sighs> I'm gonna have to buy a whole... Oh, we should call her... Call... Call her mom. Hey, mom! Oh. <laughs> she gave us a pep talk and then immediately hang up, hung up, because that's what moms do. They know what you need, and they give you exactly how much of it. I'm not going to continue this thought anymore, because this is going to get weird. Ugh. Let's get all our money back. What do you think your mom is like? Our mom. Wait. What? I can't... Like, what, what, was, what was she like before she had kids? Sorry, are we talking about my actual mom, or are we talking about Lars's mom? I'm talking about Lars's okay. mom. Our mom. Okay, got it. Uh... Like, was she a... Was she, like, punk or something and got knocked up and then had to, like, as a matter of necessity, become a... a suburban housewife? She was probably in with Frank at the arcade and the sharks and their weird blackface get-up thing. It, is she just, like... Like, totally blotto all the time, <laughs> and and that's why she treats you like, like crap. She's pretty nice to me. So it's, you know... Yeah, but she's, she's, she's nice, but she's entirely True. negligent, you know? She's like, hey, you wanna go check out that meteor? Bye. She's like all the parents in, in Nickelodeon <laughs> cartoon shows. Have you ever noticed how the kids in Nickelodeon cartoon shows have as much liberty as any kid could ever want? To the point, it's like they're constantly they, they, like, in they... mortal danger. Well, no, not mortal danger. I mean, but they, they, like, get involved in all kinds of adventures. Like, in a Nickelodeon cartoon show, a parent would never think twice about his child going all the way to the mall on his bike without telling him. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Like, my parents would have gone nuts if I did something like that. When I was like, you know, 11 yeah. or something. They would have been like, it's dangerous, you know? Well, it's dangerous nowadays. I don't know if it was that dangerous back in like, when our parents were kids. And I guess... These shows are made by... People who were kids in, like, the 50s. The parents. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they have a different conception of what, what kids are able to do, but still. Yeah, it's weird. And I remember, I always wanted to, like, be that kind of kid. It was like, you know, I don't have to tell my parents when I can, when I go places. I just, just get on my yeah. bike and go. Of course, whenever I actually tried that, I got on my bike... And my legs got tired before I got very far, so... Yeah. There's a sort of natural barrier <laughs> that is not represented in animated 
There's a stamina up. limit. It's not present yeah. on episodes of Doug. Except for my stamina for Doug, which is limitless. Doug is, in fact, uh, the exact thing I was thinking of as I was giving nice. that explanation. The wild thornberries also had shockingly negligent parenting. So go ahead. Yeah, but that that show that show was kind of surreal anyway because they were in like like the jungle and there was a talking yeah. chimp. I mean, you can by the time you have you have a talking chimp, all all reason and and is out. Where the out hell the they got Donnie? It's like just find this kid in the Orient somewhere and just take him. I bet there's warrants out for the Thornberry's arrest somewhere. No, he was a, uh, uh, raised by wolves. He was a, he was like, uh, hmm. like Tarzan. Except if Tar, if Tarzan never got the chance to grow up, if a, a few months later, you know, <laughs> someone actually found so him. So it's, yeah, it's, it's just the jungle police that have warrants out on the Thornberry's. <laughs> Kidnapping in the first degree. Uh Oh, we can get rid of this bracelet. What is a uh What is the term for a juvenile ape? Ooh. Is it kid? I don't think so. Like a kid is a is a goat. juvenile uh goat. But what is the term for a for an ape? I have no idea. I demand that you look it up, because otherwise it's going to bug the hell out of me. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, I would search for... Uh, let's say... Juvenile... Animal terms. Sounds good. And there's no you in animal. What? I wonder what serum does. I wonder if you get rid of a ghost once you have one. Well, I'm gonna buy some more calorie sticks. Mars. Yes. Uh, according to EnchantedLearning.com, the term is simply huh. baby. So it's just like. Uh, for apes, for apes it's baby, for baboons it's infant. Huh. And let's, let's find some sort of monkey. Spider monkey, baby spider monkeys are called spiderlings. For, uh, for gorillas it's infant. This... Website is not organized taxonomically. No. And it doesn't even have... It doesn't even have the name of the animal. It has a picture of the animal. <laughs> Did you stumble onto some kind of a children's encyclopedia on the internet? Alright, let's roll. I really want to know how to deal with a ghost once you got one, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Oh. Let's dance, ghost! Yeah. For, uh, uh, yeah. Infant is, is going to be the okay. answer here. I wonder what it is for human. Baby. You think it's baby or you think it's infant? Because humans are a type of ape. Oh. Huh. So they're not they're not a type of uh like gorilla or No what ape was baby, wasn't it? Gorilla was baboon, infant. Baboon, I think, was infant. But, well this the this on this website it says uh, chimpanzee is infant. So, God damn. if I understand correctly, the uh, like closest thing to a human in the animal kingdom is a chimpanzee. So, that sounds about right. 
the term is yeah. probably the same. But now I gotta watch what you're doing in this game. Something far less interesting. Some weird words for apes. Yes! Oh, God's sake. See, I know that that's an eye with a tear coming out and an eyebrow. But the resemblance between that and an actual eye is so slight and so based on, God dang like, sort of convention, I guess. It's amazing that we're able to make that yeah, it's pretty connection. Bizarre. What? Why does Lars have- Ugh. I'm an idiot. I'm really bad at this. Why? What, what no doesn't PP. Lars have? Oh. Which is why he can't get a girlfriend, and why his mother hates him. <laughs> Got no PP, you can't get no girls. <laughs> Is there not a butterfly in this uh, town? We just gotta go sleep at the hotel. We appeared at the hotel, but did not sleep there, which is the problem. Oh. Blap! Which, by the way, I need to check what time it is. Okay, it is currently 9.46 okay. p.m. So... We've been playing for... 10 minutes? That sounds like a gross understatement, but I'm willing to go with it. Okay, so we will go until 10.06. Sounds good. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are only two beds in this room, but there are three uh, kids. yeah. Maybe they all just met up in Lars's room, because we had to pay for three rooms. Oh. Didn't think about that. That seems, like a, that seems like a waste of time. Paying for three rooms when each room has two beds? Or at least one of the rooms yeah. had two beds. Also, in your kids, and this would probably be pretty innocent. In real life, you know, they don't, just don't let kids buy <laughs> hotel rooms, but... We're carrying uh, baseball bats and frying pans and guns around town. Well, except in Texas. God bless Texas. Does Ro Rob Z doesn't have just a Oh, gun. Jesus! He has like a stun... a stunner. Did you see that? Like that? Doesn't he? Yeah, he punches on Ugh. this. Did, haven't, haven't, didn't you get through this yeah. last time? Plus, there's a butterfly at the yeah, top. We can have to. Oh, this, this is gonna be chump change. Just bash these dudes up. Oh god, maybe not. Bastard! Yes! This is the portion where I think we might be underleveled, and we're gonna end up like fighting in some other section of this map where we're just gonna ball through everything, and it's gonna be awesome. Wait, you're saying you think we're underleveled now yeah, for where we are? Somehow. Uh. You think you think we skipped a dungeon again? Because we. Before we had skipped uh, that whole carpet. Yeah, we were supposed to go do that and then get Naomi and it. then go fight the bears. It's on Naomi. But we fought the bears. Because we are hard right. as shit. I got neither the time nor the patience to put up with any kind of flack off a bear. I will bust a bear up. I'll snap a bear in half with this crazy base. I'm gonna stop talking now. No! <laughs> Uh, we need to... What is the Franklin badge? It's, uh, badge? protected us from an attack by Car Painter back in the day. Uh, wow. I'm gonna heal up real quick. 
You think you think the Franklin badge is just a hundred dollar bill? This seems like the kind of thing this game would pull. <laughs> Alright, urban zombie. I think we all know what that means. Okay. <laughs> urban, that's a section of the bookstore too. It's, it's... You know, these these oh zombies and Rob Z ought to be on a team, because Rob Z is really just short for Rob yeah. Zombie, right? What the fuck? I think just one shot at Naomi. Yeah. You, you did go through yeah. that before, right? You're just going back the same way you... Maybe this is where you lost all your... all your PP. Must be. Maybe this is like... Maybe that's why this room is here. Like, stop us dead? That... Well, they, they want you to not have any... any PP or anything when you get to the other side. That... I mean, that's how they're constructing the challenge. That may be it. Let's go back... Oh, God! We're gonna come back again! Ugh. What? What? I don't know why you left that room. Because dead, man. We can't, like, go into a boss battle, which will eventually happen at the end of this hideous, hellish dungeon we're going through. You don't think we're gonna get to, like... No, we... Like, the five no, city? No, we're gonna go find Belch, and we have to deal with Thleet's problem before we can move on. What would the five city be called? Oh, God. And the worst part about it is that Naomi is the one that needs to level up the most. And she's dead and is therefore gaining no experience. And all the gear we can buy in this town sucks. Let's see if we can go through that tunnel at the bottom of town. Good fly. Mm. What? I, I don't even know what the tunnel at the bottom. Oh, sorry, of the there's town a is. um. I think it goes to the desert down there in the southeast. You think it goes? You mean from from the sign that yeah. says "to desert"? You think that's that's indicating something about where this tunnel leads? <laughs> I've got a sneaking suspicion that this tunnel goes to the desert. <laughs> oh God, creepy puppets! Oh, uh, frame rate. Wait, how's it pop? No. What? Oh, don't don't you start mentioning the frame rate? Oh, well, I mean, you're on a weirdo connection to me anyway. But no, it just it started chugging for a second. I bought a Super Nintendo, damn it, and I deserve 29.97 frames per second. That's the NTSC standard. Oh, we need to go to the hospital first. Is that with the, is that really what the Super Nintendo put uh, out? That's the that's the NTSC standard, so I assume yes. But I have no way of confirming that. Well, just because I mean it, it could still be something like. Like maybe maybe the Super Nintendo put out twice that many and it and it doubled up or, or halved it or something. Yeah, I I don't know. Yes. Wait, what's wrong with Rob Z? Yes. Oh. Never mind. Well, we deal with the ghost by talking to an old man. Ding. Hit the hotel, get juiced up, and then go to that tunnel and see what happens. Yeah, I want to see the tunnel. I want to know that what's what's up with the desert. You think the desert is large? You think it's like a a forty days and forty nights kind of done an area desert? that 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 must be traversed. It's like that's the the idea yeah. of the desert. Like, there's not a lot of stuff there. It's just a large area that you have to walk across. Hey, Rob Z fixed the broken air gun. Mmm! 
The Magnum Air Gun. Oh, that makes Rob Z. Magnum Air. Oh, good. His offense went up four points. Fart noise. Well, I mean, four points out of 58 is... True. That's not, not insignificant, sure. you know. That mime's cheating. She's just saying stuff to you. No, she's actually holding up text boxes that say that. <laughs> no, uh, demonstrably, she's not saying anything. They're appearing in a bubble <laughs> above you. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy, so the ghost didn't approach the bus. Ugh. We saw that already. That, that was the tunnel to Foreside, though. So we must be talking about this one. Let's do it anyway and see what happens. <laughs> Again with this. Yeah, I'm leaving. This is stupid. Well, you were progressing forward. Like, they weren't stopping you. You just have to not listen to them. Because if you hear this sound a thousand more times... Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. There we go. Oh, God. What the hell is that? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> it's, just, it's just a kid who's trick or treating, was apparently. It... Was that kid always here? Did. Did. Who are you? Who's your dad? Are you on the, the no. other side of the tunnel? Oh. Uh. You've never fought this before, right? I know you fought that puppet. No, you've never, never fought, fought the, the pumpkin head kid before, right? <laughs> Damn right he was defeated. No, he's not that tough anyway, so... Naomi sure doesn't have no. much H. I wish we could put her in the back row or something. What? Why does she have so much less than the other two? Is she a lower level? Let's see. Naomi is level 19, Rob Z is level 21. Skip points. Uh... Lars is level 28. Huh. Maybe. Let's see, where's the, uh. Her experience requirements seem really high, oh, too. I don't know what, her, what the hell her problem is. What is this hope? Can you, like, can you drop the other two characters for a while and just do her? Uh... How is, how is experience it's distributed, distributed, anyway? distributed evenly. Yeah, so you need to just drop your other two characters and just run around with her for a while. Or maybe, uh, get into a battle and get the other two killed, and then you can just use Naomi. Yeah. Hmm. Or you just find chumps for a thousand years till she gets a million more experience. Ugh, 190 yeah. each. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna... You know. Kill yourself. Sounds good. Yeah. Maybe the hint guy can help us I'm out. We're just jam getting this. wasted over and over again. Hey, hint guy. I'm gonna give you the $60, and you're gonna give me some hot tips. Oh god, it's another ass-faced man. I, I don't feel I need to point out how... how great it, it is that they're, we're calling him hint guy. Wait, what? Oh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... to think of a hilarious way to put this, but it's not coming. And it never Never will. Mind. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> You're right. It probably <laughs> won't. <laughs> yeah, just some bleakness to, to, to take a big dump on your joke with. I was really expecting a that's what she said <laughs> at that moment. Ugh. More ghosts. More garbage cans. God, this place sucks. Yeah, I don't like it. I was so ready to get out of Tucson, but then we got to three, and we realized that three yeah. sucked. Kill the woman for God's sake! And all our gear sucks too. It was just like some entire game mechanic that hasn't been introduced yet. That just ugh. Four again. Should be the the next one. Yeah. Like Oregon. Oregon. Ooh, I can just surprise opening attack right here, buddy. And how about a little of this? Shut Oh good, three damage. There we go. Ugh, oh, this combat is so boring. It's just nothing to say. It just is what it is, and what it is sucks. Yeah, um, I'm... I don't want to fight any more things. I just I want I want I want some more narrative. I want some more stupid jokes. I want this more game... puns from this ridiculous game. This game really doesn't have much narrative. To it. I mean, a lot of it's inferred, yeah. you know. I haven't heard anything about that meteor. Not in a while, yeah. Too much. I mean, it's like. A me meteor happened, then I, a me I am not, <laughs> and then then all that's out the window, and then we're fighting zombies and, 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 and nonsense like that. Yeah, a lot of things that have nothing to do with either of those things. Like uh, the first boss was some kind of silver yeah. alien. What happened to uh, that? Where's that? Gone. Ever replaced by this incredibly irritating. I mean, now tiny we're fighting. We're, we're fighting a a naked Oscar the Grouch. Wait, isn't Oscar the Grouch also naked? Well, he has oh. fur. Uh, this is what he would look like if his fur were were okay. shaved off. A shaved Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Bald Grouch. Yeah. I have another. Goddamn ghost following us around. And then this bee. A bee? I am Nay, not. indeed, sir. He is a fly. A no good fly. Shoot that ghost in the face. Sam. I think a lot of the problem is also the the scant uh, selection of yeah. Enemies. It's like this each area has like you know? three or four, and the, these guys are coming from like all. Over. Oh, he didn't quite make it. Well, I mean, and, and it's like you have to fight them. It, it feels almost like each fight should be more of an ordeal in itself. And there should be fewer of them. Oh my god! And there's like a limitless supply of these bastards. Yeah. I mean, imagine if each if each fight were harder, and you had to do more thinking. You had to to plan your attacks. That would be great. Yeah. But. 
No. That's not the way it is. It's useless to speculate about how things could be. Yeah, what if this game were just some other game? What if we were just playing Resident Evil? <laughs> or... The best game ever made. Too true. Yeah. Terracotta Soldier. <laughs> Gorsh! If we get killed by this smelly ghost, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> I'm not gonna get killed by this. Finally, for Christ's sake. Yeah, Two thirds of our party is dead. One of them has a ghost on its. Oh, good. A broken iron. Awesome. Actually, maybe that's maybe that's Naomi's next weapon. It'll be like a massive upgrade. Oh, yeah, let's just go great. sleep at the sleep at the hotel forty times until Robzy's lazy ass she fixes it. Naomi can only uh only fight when she's near an outlet. <laughs> I guess there are irons that are not yeah. electric. You just heat up the iron in the traditional sort of way, where you, it's just a piece of metal that literally a, an iron. Uh. Actually, um, yeah. on the Tested podcast, uh, this is only a test recently, uh, Will Smith was talking about his grandma, I think, actually had, like, had, like a, a, it was a, you wouldn't have one iron, because then you know, would have to waste huge amounts of time. You'd use it for a little while, and then reheat it, Reheating yeah. Reheating it. So she'd have, like, a set of three yeah. identical irons, and she would rotate through the three of them as she was doing her ironing, and she would iron right next to the hearth. Gosh. When was his great? When was that? Like, he, he was from Tennessee. So, I guess that would have been, like, maybe in the 20s or something. Before, like, electrification was really big. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, he's. He's about. Will Smith is about twice our age, I guess. Well, not he's quite. He's, like, in his mid 30s, age, I think. He's probably. Oh, yeah. you think he's. Maybe his young? parents just had. And maybe it was his great grandma, I don't know, I remember exactly, but. It was. Yeah. Well, I, anyway. I mean, because they had electric, electrical irons yeah. in the 50s, you know? It was like. When my grandparents were, you know, adults, they had all sorts of fancy consumer goods like that. Of course, at the same time, in the Depression, I guess, you know. Maybe you didn't want to pay for electricity. Maybe it was cheaper just yeah. to light up and, a fire. Like during the depression, there were still significant portions of the United States that were, that were without electrical, like regular electrical power. So you had like the yeah, the TVA right. and big pushes for rural electrification. Welcome again to Let's Play Talk About History and Play a Boring JRPG, folks. No, fuck, fuck Earthbound. I want to talk about rural electrification. Damn it. History. One time, when, uh, in one of my design classes, uh, we had to pitch, uh, um, what would be the word? Like, like, improvements, uh, that we, that we might argue in front of a, a board yeah. or something, uh, and one one of the girls in my classes arg uh, in this class argued for uh, rural internet, laying cable to to take uh, to get inter uh, high speed internet to to rural right. you know housing where uh, currently there there is, are no such cables because it's not a profitable enterprise. Yeah. Vent 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 and throughout this argument, at no point did she mention, uh, like, why it would be profitable. Her entire argument was based on the, like, the ethics of it, the fairness of it, or, or the need that these people have for internet. And, she, and to her, it was sufficient that the need existed to argue that a change warranted. is huh. required. And, yeah, warranted. And, uh, when I pointed that out, 
it like entirely destroyed her argument. She had no idea how to respond to that. <laughs> well, and, and I don't know. It's it's just, it's not really relevant to our previous conversation, but I was. It's interesting in in uh, from the idea how how oftentimes people don't even consider the uh, like both sides yeah. of it of an issue. It's like yeah, this would be totally great for all these poor people, but uh. Yeah, it'd be great if they, if they could have internet. Why, why would anyone want yeah. to give them internet? I mean, it, maybe if, if it's so great that if, for them to have internet, why don't they get their yeah. own internet? Form a co-op, guys. Well, I, but it, it's obvious they don't get their own internet because they don't have the means, you know. A, a, yeah, to make their own internet, but... Oh my god! I suppose it's part of the distinction between, you know, living in an urban area and living in a yeah. rural area. That, I mean, that's what it is to live in a rural area, is you don't have all those services. If you have all those kinds of services, then there's no distinction between rural and urban yeah. living. God, seriously, fuck this dungeon. I, I think you just gotta, gotta... Power through it. Yeah. Maybe we should. Go oh, crap. I wonder if we could, if we should go back to, um, or if it's even possible for us to go back to, uh, three maybe and go to that bear cave. Oh man, that's so, that's so out of the way. Maybe if we don't make any, if we, if we do this one more time and get. Like half of our people wiped out again. Crap. I might do that off air. Which, by the way, let's 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 do this one more time and then call it a an episode. We're yeah. already at thirty minutes. Fucking zombie dog. Uh, on your next run through. Use your, you know, sort of n nimbleness to to dodge as many enemies as you can. Make a conscious effort to try to, to get around things without fighting them. But it's like uh, two thirds of our characters have sucky stats, and the only way to get their stats better is to murder eighteen million of these bugs. I'm, I'm wondering if this is a, a pocket, though. If, on the other side of this zombie cave, maybe things get easier. It's possible. Again. And there you go, Lars freaking leveled up again. Ugh, Lars, you dick. Good lord. It's like every time we come back here, there are actually more enemies. <laughs> Yes. Eat it. Take it. I'm just hammering on the L button. Just kill him so I can move on. God, it's so much experience. Damn it. Oh, this I get the first hit this time. This game is pretty yep. grindy. Not gonna lie. It wouldn't be so bad if the battles were better. No. Nope. But they aren't. So it's it's bad. I was thinking about playing the I heard that's really good. I heard uh, I mean the, it's rather long though, is what I hear. Forty or fifty hours that. or something. Yeah. Which is is cool. I'm I'm glad that it's long. That's what she said. But that says to me there's prob probably probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably a lot of grinding. That's what she said. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
I apologize. But not really. I knew it was coming. What did you say? I knew I couldn't say there's a lot. <laughs> Is this how it's going to be? <laughs> Is this is it is this where we have arrived? <laughs> Forget it. I... <laughs> you and I really need to talk about our relationship. <laughs> what she? Oh. <laughs> I'm giving you Baxter. She has said that many times. <laughs> of that, I can assure you. Ugh. I'm going to live with my mother. <laughs> Stop saying things she said! <laughs> <sighs> when you grow up, come and find me. Hello, automatic teller machine. Look, we have these huge quantities of money, and we can't spin the money thing, because yeah. the place here just has shitty gear in it. We have all this money and nothing just Yeah, it's like being in buy. Zimbabwe. It's like I've got 40 trillion dollars and fat lot of good that'll do me. It's like in in Hindenburg's Germany. Where you have wheelbarrows full of marks and nothing better to do than burn <laughs> them. The fire you would get from burning them is more valuable than the the money you're burning. Indeed. I've never seen that movie, Quest for Fire. No, is that the one, that's the one about cavemen, right? Yes, it is an excellent movie. I've probably seen well. it three times. I mean, I own it, but like, I've watched it three times. About. Oh, jeez. But you need to watch Quest for Indeed. Fire. Indeed. In that, in that, I think I've talked about that movie before on this show, so I'm okay. not gonna do it again. Just, just, just take my word. Wait, you need to get a little kid to come on to be like, but don't take my. No, wait, it's you need to get Lavar Burton to say that, and then you get a kid to tell you about some books. Just be reading Rainbow, you Andy. Know how to read. Stop being whatever lame. Take yeah. a look, it's in a book, it's reading rainbow. I can do anything. Ugh, such a good show. I don't remember anything about that show except for those few, those two That's lines all you that need song. to know. <laughs> oh yeah, and yeah. Jordy was in it. Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge. Bring you the magic. I now choose After to believe got his eyes that that show is actually just something Jordy did on the holiday. It's actually a, it's actually a Star Trek holodeck episode, <laughs> except uh, uh, Jordy's fantasy is hosting a, a children's program about reading. You could have way worse fantasies. <laughs> I didn't really want to be an engineer. I really wanted to be a an actor. <laughs> his his holodeck programs are all things in which he is an actor portraying a chief engineer on a science fiction television show. <laughs> <laughs> in his holodeck, his holodeck fantasies is playing actor Lavar. <laughs> Also, that, uh, that cameo video for Word Up, that's also just a holodeck simulation where Jordy wants to be in a music video where he is a detective who is seeking out cameo. Cameo, open up, we know you're in there. I don't know why Jordy sounds like this now. He sounds like Janet Reno. He's, his voice, his voice is modulated. <laughs> so nobody can know his secret. He's... <laughs> it's also why he's all, he's, he's all the time going in there dressing up like Watson. 
Oh, that's right. He was always Data's Watson. Star Trek is a fabulous show. show. I wish that thing would start to finish uh, a few months back on Netflix. Ugh, so good. Oh, you, 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 oh, that's right. You, you did, you did finish it. You've watched the, that whole show from start to finish, right? I, I've watched all of, um, the, uh, Next Generation, all of the original series, and all of yeah. Voyager, and I got through, like, two seasons of Deep Space Nine, but I didn't like it, so I, I didn't I don't know why everybody hates Voyager. I thought Voyager was great. I've only ever seen like three episodes of Voyager. I mean, like, the episodes were, were all pretty, you know, dramatic. There, were, there was good suspense and all sorts of things in that show. Hmm. In fact, my favorite Star Trek episode is probably the Voyager episode in the blink of an What's eye. What's that one about? Hello, people. Welcome to a it's tall, really cold to... glass of Star Trek, where we give you synopses of episodes Hell, man. while playing a terrible video game. If, if only Earthbound were not so Earthbound... We, we could talk about it some but more. In, in some sort of starship. What if it were Warpbound? Feeling it? Oh, for Christ's sake. Fuck you, ghost. Okay, you couldn't avoid that one. Can you run from that? Uh, I think so. When there's one guy, we can usually take him out in two hits. Anyway, what's uh, what's in the blink of an eye I'm talking about? Is that the one where Neelix, like, dies? And then discovers that the... No. Uh, ...life is a scam? That, that, uh... In, in the blink of an eye is when they, uh, they find a planet where time passes super fast. Whoa. And, uh, well, I mean, it, 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 it seems to pass at normal speed for the people yeah. on the planet. Uh, but for the Voyager crew, uh, their entire lives occur in a matter of Whoa. hours. Whereas on the planet, they experience it in, like, 70 years, you know? Uh, and it's just about, like, like them learning to communicate, figuring out a way to, to communicate with one another. That sounds really fascinating. The, uh, the doctor, uh, the hologram doctor goes down to the planet and, uh, or rather his hologram projector, they beam down to the planet and... Uh, he's only gone for like, for like maybe 30 seconds, and then, like, they send him away, and, and they say, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna beam you back in two seconds, and then something, like, goes wrong, and it takes them, like, 30 seconds to bring him back, and when they bring him back, uh, he's like, oh my god, uh, uh, thank you, you finally were able to, to get me off of yeah. that planet, I've been there for like, for like five oh, years, God. and he's like wearing, he's like wearing different clothes, and uh, he's he's like been interacting with these people for years. He like has an established life on that planet. They send them as like a prime directive I, I, style, I, like no contact kind of guy, or like where he was supposed to be all secretive, or they just send like we're gonna send you this hologram. You should hang out with this hologram. Oh no, they sent him, uh, like, okay. in secret, but he was there for, for years, you know? He, he wasn't sure that, that he yeah. was ever gonna get back. Also, well, the, the thing that really got me about that episode was the way, I mean, this, star, this spaceship appears, and they yeah. can see it from the planet, but to the people on the planet, it has been there for Thousands right, because it shows years. up and just hangs around in orbit for like three hours or whatever. And and they like have this whole mythology about it, about the Voyager. And to the people on Voyager, it's like we just so got. What the hell are you people talking about? But to, but like their entire civilization 
They have like a global understanding of this. Yeah. Of this starship as a as a an entity in, in the universe. Like, you have to imagine if you found out tomorrow that the sun were actually Death Star. a like uh, had life forms yeah. on it or something that were controlling it and it, it appears to us as if as if we're orbiting it uh, and have been for for a long time but to them it's like it's 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 nothing it's like how God must view yeah. the earth to him, it's just a trifle, you know? It's almost nothing in comparison to the whole history of right. the universe. Anyway, yeah, that episode really got to me. In a good way. I mean, it, it, yeah, in a good way. Like, it... It's the kind of thing that makes you think, like, uh, like, uh, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Which is another fantastic episode. Yeah, another of, great episode. Star Trek. Yeah, that's another one that... that Got, that kind of got to me. Like, that, that, the idea that their language is so complicated and so unlike a language anywhere on Earth, they simply cannot understand. I, even with a universal yeah. translator, I, it, their, their, their grammar just operates in an, in an entirely different way. It's all idioms. It's idioms all the way down. Yeah. I mean, they must have some, like, base. Hello. Oh. Oh, no, you, you've been here before. That's right. At least everyone survived. Ah, we can get some, some coffee. Cup of joe. <laughs> Carrying around, like, Joe's. 15 cups of coffee. Damn right I want a cup of coffee. Cup of joe. No, I don't want a croissant. Would you like some coffee? Yeah, I don't know why either. I don't know why, Andrew. That's fine. Help me understand why. Because this episode has easily been going on long. for probably 45 minutes. Oh. Well, I'm gonna buy some calorie sticks. We could we could chop this into Bye. two. Okay. Didn't didn't you say you're gonna be away yeah. next weekend? We got we we have enough of a, uh, a buffer at this point though that we're just gonna go. Oh, we we already have an. Oh yeah, that's right. We we recorded two. Yeah. A couple of weekends ago. So. Oh! No, oh, hey. uh... If you really want to recover fully... No pretensions there's, of... a, there's a village full of interesting people just ahead. Saturn Valley. Oh. God dang it, we were so close. That, uh, let me, uh... Let me suggest that this village full of, quote, interesting, end quote, people... Probably full of assholes. Is... Yeah. You're probably going to have a lot of battles to fight. Possibly a a circus tent with a face and... Do you think zombie paper might be involved? Come and get it, Antoids. I'm all hyped up on coffee juice. Oh, back to these fools. Double deuce! shut up! I think I'll stand a chance. Pop, pop, pop. It's kind of annoying that you have to watch each yeah. one go through their little blank. Final Fantasy IV had the uh, the common courtesy to show you the damage and all of them all at once, and then have all the ones that were going to fade away fade away immediately. I feel like like that happens in in all of them. Final Fantasy games, at least yeah. post four. I'm not sure how one through three worked. I don't remember. If I don't remember if that happened in three slash six. I really need to play that because too. I, I bet. Don't I bet remember. we have a. Oh my god! I played about. I played about three hours of it, and and then went back to school. So <laughs> I, you know, had to give up on it. But uh, yeah, it was pretty. Oh. Pretty good. Oh god. You start oh, out no. in a mech, not the... Oh, oh. Stuff, but, no, oh. Rob Z, give me okay, your gun. Okay, snap Rob Z, the picture. Rob Z, Rob, go ahead. Rob, give me your gun. Give me your... Just give me your gun. Just get... Oh, for God's sake. 
There was a time when we found this really funny. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> you know. Nobody else is even mugging for the what shot. Is... Yeah, you, you assholes. I, you think these pictures are free? <laughs> what? What? Uh. Here, uh, that's that's. What? What? No problem here. I'm trying. Forward. When I put when I push up, that's uh, what happens. Ha Hammer on the aim. Uh, receiver phone. See if there's anything we can use here. Do you think? Uh. Refresher prompt. What? That's a refresh. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> when the hell did we pick that up? Uh, uh, slime generate. Okay. Rob, see, quick, generate some slime. Okay. I guess we'll have to come back in a little bit. Well, but no. Uh, I mean, that that's the end of the line, isn't it? Fuck. Yes. No, there's the a little tunnel line. off to the side. Ah, uh, for crap's sake. Kermit! My Kermit, my Kermit! Oh, Kermit, my Kermit. Yeah, eat that, asshole. Now burn! Ugh. Eat it, for God's sake. Damn right, 1300 experience each. I assume the way up there will be clear. It's become clear at some point. What? All will be revealed. I really hate when this game goes like for too long without a battle. I, no, I would go. You know, go, go back, go back. I would go through that that little tunnel up there first. I've been Weird in that bug. Same room. Oh God! Oh, dude. <laughs> 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 It looks, it's called the Violent Roach, and that immediately made me think of that Family Guy bit. <laughs> oh yeah, those are some that's bad a, roaches. That's a really bad roach. <laughs> I'll cut you. You're gonna wish I don't cut you so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Whew. That was a pretty bad roach. <laughs> <laughs> At last. I was thinking the see it, just as I as I yes. said it was delicious. Be. Good call. Delicious. Resplendent. I just want to rub that room all mm. over my body. I want to bathe in that room. Oh, this music just got awesome. This music just got even better. Uh, something would. Oh. Uh. It's Crumb. <laughs> from the monsters. The, the, the game that we began this this sir, journey with. Sir, sir, excuse me. <laughs> I need you to explain your soul. You're right. We feel groove. Hi ho! Ah, oh, that Me is a, that is the perfect, the perfect typeface for this for music, this, for this dude, uh, for yeah. Me, Mr. Saturn. This place all under it's Mr. Like Saturn. It's like a child's. It's like a child's birthday <laughs> card. Aren't these things all over town. the place? Sm <laughs> sir, sir, why is your phone at the top of a ladder? Why is your chair on the table? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, also notice that his all the legs of his table are on one <laughs> side of it, and also he puts the chair on the table and puts his teacups on the floor. <laughs> Excuse me, game. I beg to differ. We must be in China, the land of opposites. There is a problem here. There's a serious problem here. A Chinaman. Do you want slumber? Yes. Are you sure that's what that I think says? So. <laughs> See, they say KO instead of okay. he's getting ready to fight you. <laughs> it's dead. I don't know what's happening. 
Why did everybody else get on the ladder too? <laughs> uh, guys, you re you realize this ladder doesn't go anywhere but to the phone, right? I'm gonna turn on the phone. Oh god. Let's, go, let's call our mom. Explore Sat Mr. Saturn Town for a little while longer. I like Saturn Town. Thanks, Mom. Oh man, do we have a map? Oh, do we not have a map of Saturn Town? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, you know that this town isn't all that it seems, <laughs> right? Like. These these things are gonna end up being like cannibals or something. We're gonna have to like we're gonna have to drown them all in that lake. <laughs> uh, excuse me, yeah. sir. Okay. Palm trees <laughs> on the inside. Man in the garbage can. He's Doctor Saturn Zoom. I can repair your body. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> let me repair your body. <laughs> okay, make sure you wash Boy, your hands. You don't have after hands. After. <laughs> Do you want me? <laughs> yes, I do. This this is a town where SpongeBob SquarePants would feel at home. <laughs> no, man, th this is like. The deep bottom. Uh, uh hello? Oh. Hello? Uh, Is anybody there? Look how... Notice how uh, in the... The horizon... Through the windows... <laughs> this is like the... <laughs> those aren't... Those aren't windows. Those... Those are just pictures of a horizon. <laughs> this is like that episode of... Oh, this this is like rock bottom on SpongeBob. You just go there and like I don't know which bathroom to use. <laughs> waiting for the bus, or no, they're waiting in a line for the uh, to get the bus schedule, and the, uh, the he like turns around to talk to that guy, and he just like coughs up an egg. <laughs> Where are we? Why is this oh, happening? God. It's like, it's like if Salvador Dali <laughs> made a a SpongeBob episode. <laughs> we look like same. I give you special thing. Oh. Not now. I give you a <laughs> <Zoom. laughs> boing. Bye later. <laughs> Thanks, furry faced bowman. So boing. In fact, wasn't that wasn't that the conceit in in the uh, the SpongeBob episode? Is they had to end every sentence with <laughs> yeah. a raspberry. Yeah. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. We've been there. Password? I tell. Select. Be belch man say no, bel say. Pass below. Oh. Then stand still. <laughs> Wait for three minutes. Man, that's gonna be some riveting oh. television when we do that. <laughs> Tune in next for week. We're waiting folks. for three minutes. And wait for three minutes. Wait, we should we shouldn't say anything in that <laughs> three minutes either. It should be a completely silent S three minutes. Uh, Siri sick. Barfy, go and la la la. I am moron. <laughs> useless to me. I've come with a message. <laughs> Say password. He stands there for three solid minutes. Oh. Ugh. Did I ever finish Freakazoid? Oh, no. I don't remember. I ha I know I downloaded it, but I don't know if I, if I ever watched it all. <laughs> this ladder doesn't go all the way up. 
This ladder has an asshole at the top of it. That ladder goes too up. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no. We don't even we don't even get a new enemy. <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought it was gonna be like one of those rocket machines that are in front of the grocery store. <laughs> you just jump on it and ride it like your mechanical bull. Yeah. <laughs> No, God, go away. I like this town. I'm into this. I want to buy. If, <laughs> if the rest- If the game up until this point had been as awesome as this town, it'd be a better game. I wonder what these things do. What the hell do you do with a stag beetle? Like, is- is- Everybody's just okay with the fact that there are these armless, mouthless creatures that... I mean, like, this... We knew about this yeah, the whole yeah, time, of right? What is a bionic slingshot? Bionic slingshot? I don't know, but you have plenty of money, so... Whatever it is, Lars and Naomi can use it. Uh... Lars has kooky much junk. It's like an Indian. We have heap big junk. Ugh, I... I can't do this right now. I think we gotta call it. I don't wanna spend any more time yeah, using my inventory. This is a super long yeah. episode, so... Uh, did, did, is there a place to Yeah, we already called now? our dad on the phone. So. Oh, okay. So, oh, there's a yeah. phone right there. Anyway. So I'm F F2-ing it, and... Okay. Ugh. F2. Do it. I dare you. I already done. I double done. dare you. I double dog. Yeah, there was no need for that. No need. Alright. I am exhausted. And that, ta that, that table looks... That looks like a flattened Saturn man.